And voting will be different for Portland residents. They'll rank their favorite candidates as part of a new voting system called ranked choice voting. Thomas Schultz joins us in the newsroom with more. Thomas? Yeah, China, when Portland residents vote, they're going to see a different kind of ballot this year. Here's what that's going to look like. For Portland contest, voters can rank their top six favorite candidates in order. Don't vote for a candidate more than once. And for one that you do not like at all, just don't rank them. Leave their name blank. And ranked choice voting will work a little differently for single winner positions like the mayor and multi winner roles like city council. For single winner ranked choice voting, the candidate with more than half of the votes wins. If nobody receives 50% of the vote, the person with the least votes is eliminated, and voters who picked that candidate as their top option will have to vote again. That process repeats until somebody gets the majority. Though for multi-winner races, it's a little bit different. Three candidates are elected simultaneously and they must receive more than 25% of the vote to be elected. Once again, that's for city council positions. And the idea behind the change is to give voters more choice. Election officials say more options will give better representation of who voters want in office. And Thomas, does the county plan to adopt ranked choice voting at some point here? Yeah, they do. That's going to be a little bit later down the line. That's not set to begin until November 2026.